and the CEO of Cheddar, Mr. Cole Oliver. Hey everyone, my name is Cole Oliver. I'm the founder of Cheddar Financial, and we're all about making money smarter. So we do this through a variety of tools that we build in our free ecosystem that are easy and automatic to use, targeting what has been the most difficult demographic for financial technology to target, young professionals and students. Our ecosystem is primarily based on instant gratification and making things extremely accessible. So our financial app, which puts your personal finances on autopilot, allows students to connect all of their financial accounts in one place that's convenient and easy to analyze, while also providing meaningful and valuable insights and recommendations. What this allows them to do is take advantage of, miss, of never missing out on a student discount for a service that they might already be paying for. A good example is Spotify, which charges $9.99 for an individual plan, but offers a $5 monthly plan for students that they often don't know about. We're able to track that transaction and alert them that they're giving up $60 a year and provide that instant gratification by helping them correct that transaction. Our next tool makes it convenient and legal to share your favorite services. Saving with Friends takes advantage of existing family plans offered by places like Spotify, Netflix, cellular services, and even group health insurance. What we make it convenient to do is join together with five of your friends and share a Spotify plan where you're only paying your equal share. What that means is that instead of paying $9.99 a month for Spotify, you're actually accessing it now for $3.50 on your own account conven uh, completely legally. Obviously, there's terms of service for each different service provider, but we find ways to make it work regardless of the situation. So now friends, family, and roommates can share conveniently uh, on the services that they're already using now. And finally, our savings radar is a Chrome extension, which ensures that students and even active and veteran military never miss out on student discounts or military discounts. Often those are the ones that are not advertised on sites, and sometimes people miss out on hundreds of dollars by missing out on those deals. We make it easy in browser to never miss out and provide you with a link to take advantage of that discount. The reason that we started attacking this problem is because we've learned that financial literacy is one of the largest problems plaguing millennials. Over 70% of millennials lack a baseline level of financial literacy. That means that they just really don't understand how money moves and they don't have the motivation to track their own budgets. Of the $1 trillion in current and outstanding student loan debt, 50% of those individuals worry about their ability to repay it back. And this financial situation that millennials have found themselves in are caused by three main areas. First, they're not interested or they're too bored. They ignore the situation, out of sight, out of mind. They're $30,000 in debt from student loans and they only have 20 to their name. They would rather ignore the problem. The second is that it's not taught in schools at any level. They're left to fend for themselves and learn on the go. They have to learn from their mistakes rather than learning from the mistakes of people before them. And finally, it's awkward and taboo to talk about money with our friends and family in today's society, meaning that many people don't even learn while they're at home. The current landscape for millennials accessing some form of financial technology is quite staggering, and they're definitely not foreign to the idea. There's 45.5 million millennials accessing financial tech in some way, but only 30% of those are taking advantage of applications in addition to their existing banks app. And banking apps right now are often the most limited and provide the least amount of insight about your financial expenditures. So they're not helping the users that are, healthy, or that are actually using them. So people that use things like Mint and Prosper Daily, those are in the minority of, of the demographic that is being served because those people already had the self-motivation to budget and plan their expenses, utilizing tools like Excel and Notes and even a checkbook before these programs were uh, available. So we're serving that 70% that have no idea what they're doing when it comes to money and currently don't have a product geared for them. Our progress is pretty exciting. We've tracked over $500,000 in transactions to date through our financial app in the Alpha program. You can currently download it from the store now. We're conducting a North Texas pilot program with UNT, TWU, and the NCTC Community College District to get user feedback and focus groups. And we're currently raising a $2 million Series A round, which would help us take an 18-month runway and really push these out publicly. You can download the Chrome extension now from the Chrome Web Store, and Saving with Friends will be live at some point next week, making it easier than ever to share online services with your friends and family.
and that's Cheddar Financial. Questions? Hey, well done. Looks really great and fantastic idea. Um, so getting into the millennial market, as you know, is, is quite, as you mentioned, uh, crowded and difficult, and I love the college uh, angle. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing there? Uh, yeah, so what specifically in terms of the college interaction? How are you getting in front of your target market? Sure. So we're taking advantage of early connections with things like the student money networks at these universities already and utilizing those uh, resources to their full capacity, while also embarking upon some uh, guerrilla marketing initiatives, as well as fostering a community of where these individuals feel that they're actually contributing to a much larger goal. So utilizing the Chrome extension as a perfect example of how it fosters this community, we can see that as we track the number of do or the amount of money saved by using the extension and taking advantage of student discounts, we can say that students as a whole from the University of North Texas have saved over a million dollars this semester. And that's something that we think is powerful and would grab the attention of other students down the road. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and uh, any experts that you have on staff that would be able to educate people in a more, um, you look very young, type knowledgeable way? Sure. Um, so that, that from a credibility standpoint, Absolutely. I mean, so, the, the millennial market does have its challenges. They may be more lenient in not knowing. They don't know what they don't know, but it's up to you to educate them on those types of things. So talk a bit about your background and who's on staff that has that knowledge. Sure. Uh, so the person that's building out our economic forecasting and the uh, economic analysis for the back end of our program, which is basically the, the blood that runs through our system, is an individual named Spencer Vahil who worked in consumer analytics doing the same type of analytics that he's doing for individuals except for corporations like Whataburger and how much money would they make in this specific spot. He has a master's in economics and has been doing this for over 10 years. I myself was the youngest intern ever accepted into Northwestern Mutual's financial advising internship at the age of 18. I was already managing life insurance policies, annuities, and helping individuals plan for their future uh, that were twice my age. Uh, I'm super passionate about money and economics, uh, and I'm graduating from the University of North Texas in December with a degree in economics myself. Uh, the rest of the team, there are three masters and a wide variety of, of industry experience. Our advisory board accounts for over 250 years of a combined experience in the space, uh, and it's a, it's a very educated team. Over here to your left. Uh, so cryptocurrency, it's kind of a passion of mine. Uh, Obviously, banking integration is easy with the APIs. What's your cryptocurrency strategy? A lot of people are diversifying how they spend and how they save. Uh, do you guys, do you have a, uh, a way to track that part of the spending as well? Absolutely. So right now, as you know, there are less APIs in the cryptocurrency space than any other fintech space. Uh, we want to integrate with anyone and everyone willing to grant us access to track those accounts. So any service provider that you're already using for managing your cryptocurrency would be able to be integrated into our system. Uh, beyond that, we also plan to make it as easy as possible to create integrations to our platform. So even if they don't have an existing API, we'd love to make it easy for them to loop in with our network. Absolutely. Um, I've got a bit of a loaded question for you. Um, considering that you guys are a new company and that there's a lot of money involved and a lot of very private information, how do you build credibility with uh, all these millennials? I think as a millennial, the first thing that will come up is, this is too good to be true, and is it secure? Yeah, absolutely. So security is something that has to be at our core. Um, it's something that we understand is very sensitive, especially when dealing with financial information. We're working with industry standard partner Yodali Interactive. They're now in VestNet to provide bank level security access to account aggregation. So your information is never stored in terms of the actual banking login information. Your personal data is never sold. Um, and beyond that, we use 256-bit encryption to ensure that nothing in our network or servers could ever be touched. And it's something that keeps us up at, at night of just how do we provide more security and how do we enhance our encryption suite. So I see that you're, you said that you're building the Chrome extension to actually work within uh, student discounts. But how 
specific are you getting in direct school integration? So when we talk about managing the money accounts for like food and things like that, some of the most basic expenses that people don't take into account when they're actually looking at what the cost of a mochaccino is. Uh, my sister, case in point, uh, is a freshman at UNT and this <laughs> All right. Ask me after. <laughs>